this provocation. That's because you have let him. What am I supposed to do? Make him understand that you are his wife and not something he can continually maltreat. Jenny, am I that bad? Do I look horrible? No, you're not. Please, Jenny, just tell me the truth. You are beautiful, Mary. I don't let Henry make you think otherwise. I feel frustrated anytime he talks down on me. Jenny, Henry, Henry has not touched me in a month. I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry, my darling, I'm so sorry. Why don't you talk to your mom? Or maybe you can even go spend some time with her. Yeah, that's true, I've not spoken to her for a while now. You should call her. What is this? Huh? Why are you touching me? I... I want you to make love to me. You want me to make love to you? Well, I'm sorry, I'm tired. Henry, it's been a month since you last touched me. You want to know why? Huh? Because I don't want to drown. What? Yes. Oh, you didn't know? That is how expansive it has become. Henry! What? Is it not true? Something that can swallow a whole human being. What, what do you want me to call it? Henry, I don't like the way you talk down on me. I've had kids for you. And so what? Are you the first person to have kids? People are having four or five children. You just have two. What did you do down there? What did you do then? Because that place is now Lagbaja. Don't touch me. I want to rest. I said, don't touch me. It's fine. I didn't mean that I had known you, I would have... You did not go to the gym? Um, I wanted to make you hot breakfast. You wanted to make me hot breakfast? Mary, what is wrong with you? Tell me. You're supposed to be at the gym, reducing this overweight size of yours, and you're here serving me food. I didn't want you to get mad at me. Well, I am angry. Take a good look at yourself. Look at this. Look at, look at this. What is this? You better reduce this thing you're carrying like a pregnant woman when you're not pregnant. Get out of my sight. Do you want me to lose my appetite? I said get out!
Hello, mom. How are you? I'm not fine, mom. What's wrong? Mom, Henry has turned me to an object of caricature in my own house. Mom, please. I just want to come and stay with you for some time. Can I? I am sorry, my daughter. You know the man I live with is not your father, and it would be quite unfair for me to add another responsibilities to him. Mom? Sorry, I have to go now. Mom! Beans and spaghetti and some other things that are finished. Here's the list. I want to go get them. Also, you know my car is at the mechanic, so I was wondering if I can use your car. You can't use my car. I'll be going out very soon. And besides, it's actually good for you. The store is right here. You can just walk. No, the store is not right here. The store is far. The better. The more you walk, the more weight you lose. Henry, please, can you not do this? Can You're I not just... using my car. Let me just transfer this money. You are disturbing me. I'm not using your car. I've said it. You look so beautiful. Thank you. You know, I... I know there are lots of men out there that are way better than me. That have resources to bring the world to your feet. And make you feel like a queen. Here I am. With this ring. To show off my desire to spend the rest of my life with you. To build our own empire. Create beautiful memories. And have beautiful children. Oh. <laughs> oh, Anna. I promise to always make you happy. Never to make you cry. Well, unless I crack a joke that makes you laugh so hard that tears come off of your eyes. <laughs> Will you marry me? Of course I'll marry you, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Benita and I'm here to see Henry. My husband? Oh, you're the wife? I'm so sorry, my bad. I didn't know. Who are you? I am his classmate and friend back in the university. And I was just around and decided to say hi. 
Oh, I see. Did he know you were coming? I would have called him, but I don't think I have his number anymore. He won't be home in a while. I can wait. I think I have some spare time with me. Oh. Okay. Come in. Thank you so much. Um, do you want me to get anything for you? Not really, I'm fine. Thank you. All right. I'll be upstairs. If you need anything, just let me know. Sure. Thank you so much. Okay. Sorry, we don't mm. know you. Oh, that's true. Actually, your dad and I were friends back in school, and we've not seen since then. Was Daddy intelligent in school? Yes, he was. He's he was actually more intelligent back in school than he is now. If you haven't seen him since school, how come you know his IQ? Good afternoon. How was school today? School's fine. Mm -hmm. Not fine because Jerry wouldn't share our snacks with me. And what happened to your own snacks? My snacks get lost. Your snacks got lost? Yes. Sherry, why didn't you give your sister from your own snacks? Hmm? Is that what I thought you? I thought you to always take care of your younger sister. Sorry, Mom. Please, next time, share your snacks with her, okay? All right, so you both are going to go upstairs down and freshen up and then come down for lunch, okay? All right. And Benita, you're going to join us for lunch. Yes. I won't take no for an answer. Is that fine? All right, let me take care of them upstairs. I'll be back soon. Wait, you don't recognize me? Benito? Hi! Benito, oh Hi. my god! <laughs> oh! What? Where have you been? Uh uh. Oh my god! <laughs> so good to see you! So good to see you too! Wait, I, how did you. I was just close by and... Then... Close by? Yeah. And you found, you knew I was staying here? I have... You're magic <laughs> Oh my god! But do you remember um, when his um, his girlfriend um, spilled the drink on I believe in bro. Yo. So embarrassing. So I, I was like, I was like, just dumbfounded. I was like, I was believe so in you. Like, how would you I just let me out enter the floor? <laughs> I won't right, exactly. <laughs> but that was some good old days, man. <laughs> I have been through the fire. I have through the rain. But that was some good old days, man. And this is what I get. So, um, what's going on with you now? I have what's walked like, through what's the storm. What's I, on my own car. I'm, I'm just Mom, this is disrespect. No, no, no. <laughs> Quiet. Thank you. 
Harry, what did I do to you? What did I do to you and I'll spend the rest of my life atoning for it? Why, why do you disrespect me so much? You talk down on me at every given opportunity. You disrespect me so much that our little girl looked at me and asked me what I did to you for you to disrespect me that way. Oh, I see you're beginning to manipulate the girls to hating me, right? No, Henry. Everything you do to me in this house is enough to earn you all the hate. So please tell me. Tell me what I did. And I will ask for your forgiveness. Now you listen to me. Until you give me the Mary I fell in love and got married to, stay away from anything that concerns me. Have I made myself clear? I'm sorry, I was lost in thoughts. Thoughts? What are you thinking about? You already know what it is. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you letting him treat you this way? You know, at first I thought my husband has lost his sense of humor. But not until yesterday. His supposed cosmates came here. You needed to see them, Jenny. You needed to see the way he was laughing with her. My heart almost fell off my chest. And to think that this lady is someone he hasn't seen in years. That's because he thinks you have lost your spark. He thinks? Oh, it is what it is. Jenny, is this what I looked like when he married me? Did you have two kids when he married you? Hell no. You gave the fool two beautiful daughters and lost your shape in the process. Instead of him to build a statue and worship it, rather he chose to frustrate you. Jenny, you, you cannot insult Henry in my presence. Look at you, defending a man that has done nothing but shown you disregard. He's still my husband. You know what? Continue in your misery. 
Where are you going? Jenny! Jenny! I don't even know what his reactions would be. I'll wash his clothes and cook his favorite meal. Hopefully. should be what did mommy cook and mommy made daddy's favorite fried rice and plantain got it i'm coming daddy mommy cooked your favorite i did Please. I said, stop following me. I don't! Henry! Why are you doing this to me? I made your favorite food and yet you won't even touch me? Has it gotten to that? Because I don't trust you to make anything special for me. Really? But some time ago, you would be surprised that I didn't. And some time ago, you were so tight I could feel the walls of your bosom. What does that even mean? It means it has gotten wider and I hate to swim. Henry, this is the second time you're saying this to me. Is this why you haven't touched me for two weeks now? Yes. I know the woman I married. Not this one. Hello, Mom. Mary, why are you crying? Mom, I can't do this anymore. I'm coming to meet you. Coming to meet me? How? You want to leave your husband's house? Mom, he has driven me into depression. Look, I was in depression for years, but I am still alive. Listen, my husband warned me clearly to keep my other child out of our marriage. I don't intend to lose his marriage for anyone. Not even for your own child? The ones I have here are also my children. Jenny, well, I'm pregnant. Wow. Finally, we are going to have a baby in this house. I'm so happy for you, Mary. You know, God has a way of uplifting our drowning spirits because the thing that has been happening with Henry has been threatening your sanity. I'm not keeping it. What are you talking about? Henry. What about him? You know our marriage has been standing on a very thin thread. And I don't want to strain it any further. Mary, you're confusing me. How is another child in your marriage a problem? What if he becomes a girl? Henry doesn't want any other girl. You know, he stand with me in this marriage. He might even throw me out. Is he mad? Throw you out for what? 
Is a girl child not also a child? Or did he put a boy in your tummy and you swapped it for a girl? I'm getting rid of the pregnancy. The what? <laughs> Are you talking about committing an abortion at this age? I'll just evacuate it. Mary, hey, you're unbelievable. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Come on, Jenny. You, you, you must not always walk away. Jenny! How was work today? Work was fine. I was thinking, um, since Cherry and Divine are all grown now, maybe it's time for us to have another baby. Huh? Uh, another one? In which house? This house? Oh, so you're planning on giving me another girl? Is that your plan? Henry, you know he's the Lord that gives children... If you don't shut that trap you call him out, I will shut it for you. My friend's wives are giving them boys. And you're here giving me girls, telling me we could have another what? Look, I had a very long day today. And I need some peace and quiet. Don't look for my trouble. So I have not eaten since you left. Oh my baby. Okay, um, I'm going to go and make noodles for you to eat. I don't want to eat noodles, I want to eat pounded yam. Oh, divine. Mommy's really tired. I can make pounded yam now. But I promise you, I'm going to make it during the weekend. Is that fine? Okay. Where is Cherry? She's upstairs. Upstairs. Alright. Do you want some onions? No. What about the whole plate? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Hey girls. Hey, come on. Divine, are you okay? I don't want to eat noodles. Me too. So why are you not eating what you want to eat? Mommy said we run out of food stock and she can't cook. Mommy said she can't cook? Are you sure she said that? Here sleeping your fat self whilst my children are downstairs starving. Harry, I'm not feeling well. Besides, I made them noodles already. It is that sickness that will kill you. You made them noodles. Is noodles food? Harry, get up and go downstairs and make them some proper food to eat. Harry, please. 
I'm so sick that I can't even move my body. Did you just flaunt a simple instruction that concerns my kids? Huh? Come on, get up. Hey, get up, I'm going to make them food to eat. Oh my god, I'm not feeling well. well. Get up, get up, get up, I'm going to make them food. Take your slippers out. Go downstairs. You're hurting me. Wait, I'll go, I'll go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Are you listening to me? Do not come out of this place until you finish your food. Sense. The abortion went successfully. Unfortunately, he's a boy. The washing machine is faulty. You haven't left yet. Why are the kids' uniform not clean? I mean, you know I won't be feeling well. Your stomach is big enough to make you sick. Do you know that? God did not give you this stomach. It is your laziness and overfeeding. Henry, it's not fair the way you talk to me. It is also not fair sharing a space with this big belly of yours. Make sure you clean those uniforms before I get back. Lazy goat. Jenny, I can't climb the stairs. Let me just stay here, please. Ah. Look at what you have done to yourself. Look. You're suffering from something I warned you not to do. The stupid husband you did it for. Why didn't you call him? Even though I know you lied while you were washing, I don't need a seer to tell me that he made you do it. Please, Jenny, can I get water? Please. 
Thank you. You have Kukuma turned me to your house girl and join now. I'm washing that clothes because of my godchildren, not for you. Thank you. Oh, my baby's good doing. How are you doing? How was school today? School was fine. Oh, that's good. You are washing our clothes. Yes, baby. Mommy isn't feeling too well, so I decided to help. Hmm? Where is mommy? I left her lying down in the living room. So go inside, take off your uniforms, and bring them for me to wash. Okay. Okay. Jennifer. Good day, Harry. Go, go, go inside. What is it? Harry, I really hope you don't get upset regarding what I'm about discussing with you. Rather, I want you to see me as a concerned friend. I have been friends with your wife even before you met her. And I remember vividly how men used to flock around her, but she cared less about them until you came along. That spark that drew everything Every man to her has left her. Why won't he leave? When her belly is as big as a football, when she's not pregnant. This isn't about her physical appearance, Henry. Then what is it about? How can you be married to a woman and you don't know her beyond her physical appearance? Your wife is going through a whole lot, Henry, and you can't feel it. Okay. Have you noticed how pale your wife has become since after divine your second daughter? She has refused to tell me, but I am a woman. And I know that when another woman is looking like that, it can only mean one thing. And what is that? That she isn't happy with the husband. You said she didn't tell you what the problem is. Well, she has refused to tell me, but... Jennifer, until she tells you what the problem is, don't you ever stop me to tell me this nonsense. Drop those clothes and get out of my house. I am going inside. I don't want to come back to see you here. Do you understand? So it has gotten to this. What is it, Harry? I'm a bag of trouble, right? I didn't say that. I only asked what it is. Also, now you're calling me daft. First of all, you invite a stranger to our home to do your chores and have her insult me. What do you mean? That stupid friend of yours. Stop me outside to tell me how to run the affairs of my home. When in actual sense, hers is in shamble. Because tell me, what responsible woman will leave her home to come to this place to do what she did? Can you not insult her, please? And if I do, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to beat me? Huh? Of 
course I wouldn't. I told you that I'm sick. You just got in here and you didn't even bother to know how I'm faring. How you faring? Of course I know how you're faring. You were a woman with a fat belly yet not pregnant. And a wide vajayjay big enough to swallow my head. Good afternoon. I do know you were upstairs. That's because you didn't ask. And you weren't told. I want to see you upstairs. Now. So. I mean now. Why would you embarrass me like that? Embarrass you? Yes. You embarrassed yourself. Really? Yes. You sit in our living room laughing with a girl like that. You needed her approval for you to come with me and you don't see anything wrong with that. First of all, this is my house and I can do as I please. Secondly, you disrespected me. Yes, you interrupted a conversation I was having with someone that has so much respect for me. But that is an issue for another day. What have I done to you, Henry? What have I done to deserve this? What is my crime? How can you stand here and ask me what your crime is? Look at this! I told you when we first met that a lady with a big belly is a turn off for me. So why are you standing here to ask me what your crime is? Henry, I had babies for you. Not just one. But two, the second pregnancy I had it through caesarean section. What are you saying? Why do you expect me to remain the same? I don't care. Read my lips, I don't freaking care. And just so you know, you're no longer appealing to me. Excuse me. What? What's going on? Nothing. I'm fine. So why haven't you touched your food? You know I'm the one that cooks this food, right? You should know that a chef is not always eager to eat his or her food. I don't want to become my chef because I always want food. I know. You love to eat. I, I wish to be like you, Mom. Uh, Cherry, be careful what you wish for. Not all that glitters is gold. I 
I can't take this anymore. Henry has turned me into an object of mockery, not just before the public, but before my children. Imagine Henry telling my own child not to be like me. Henry did that? Yes. Because of what? Because I now have a big tummy after having his kids? Jenny, I am slowly losing my marriage. Then let it go. Let what go? You want me to let my marriage go? You want me to be like my mother, who is now in her third marriage? Would you rather stay in this one and die of depression? You know what? I'll solve that problem myself. And how would you do that? You will try talking him out of it. You have tried that severally and it never worked. Surgery. <laughs> You're kidding, right? I know that if I have my body back, my husband will go back to his former self. I thought you were just in love. But now, I also understand that you're foolish as well. You want to go for surgery because of your husband. Isn't that what marriage is all about? Sacrifice and compromise? At the detriment of your health. What health? You have no idea how my mental health has been. If I don't do this right now, I'm going to end up in a mental home or worse, dead. God forbid. Hey, listen to me. I don't think any of this is right. See, it's not worth it. You know, I've made up my mind, okay? I'm only telling you because I'll need you to come and check in on my kids once in a while. You are serious? I'm very serious. Hey. What is it? I don't want any more insults, okay? This is very serious. Your wife is about to... Um, honey. You're back. <laughs> um, I made your favorite. Do you want me to regret confiding in you? I was only trying to help. But I didn't ask for your help. Jenny. Ah. to go see my mom. I did not know she was back in the country. Um, she came in two days ago and um, for the duration of time she has to spend in Nigeria, she wouldn't be able to come here. So she asked that I bring the kids to her. But I told her the kids are in school so they can't come. And who's going to take care of the girls? I want to talk to Jenny to help me check in on the girls, or better still, get a house help. I'm sure you're paying for the house help. Yeah, you, you don't have to worry about it. Good. So, can I go? You can stay there forever. Kids, I'll be going out of town for a couple of days. 
Mommy, where are you going to? I'm going to see Grandma. Grandma is in the country. Yes. She came in, but because of our tight schedule, she can't stop over to see us. So I want to go over and meet her. Mommy, can I go with you? You know what? Grandma even asked that I bring you too, but because of your exams, I don't want to interfere with your studies. I told her that you both can come now. Mm? That's true. We can go to see Grandma after exams. You're right. You know I can do anything for you too, right? That is why I love you. And I love you too. I don't care. I love you. <laughs> Alright, let's see the show. Ah, oh, Sherry, you started me. What is wrong with you, Mom? There is nothing wrong with me. Since the day we came back, saw you lying down on the couch, sick, you've been acting so strange. You're fine, Sherry, okay? Are you sure? Believe me, I'm okay. Okay. Hey, baby. Dad, hmm? what is going on between you and mom? Did mom say there's something going on between us? I wouldn't be asking if she did. Sherry. Sorry, Dad. I know there's a problem between both of you. I tried asking mom, but she wouldn't say a thing. Well, that's because there's nothing going on. There's nothing. Yes. There is nothing. Yes, baby. Yet you insult and talk down on her. Look, Cherry, you're overthinking things, okay? Mommy and I, we're good, all right? All right, since you two don't want to say anything, all I want you to know is that whatever you do, it affects Devan and I. Not long ago. Daddy, Daddy, I want solid food, not noodles. Divine, you know Daddy can't cook. Neither can your sister. Why can't you cook? We have been eating noodles since Mommy left. Where's my mom? Didn't she tell you she was going to see your grandma? She did, but I don't still believe her. Why? Nothing. 
Good day, Harry. Are you enjoying your food? Yeah. Don't worry, your mom will soon be back, hmm? She wants to see your grandma. And I'll say she'll come with a lot of goodies for you. Your food is in the microwave. Thank you. Different. Well, is it good or bad? Different. Good, good right? <laughs> Cherry, you don't want to hug your mom. Welcome. Mom. I missed you too. You know what? You guys should go upstairs and freshen up and then come down for lunch. Okay. How about that? All right. Okay, guys. Hey, babe. <laughs> hey. Wait, who's this? It's your wife. The one you fell in love with. No. This is way better than what I fell in love with. Oh my god. Wait, what did your mother do to you? Nothing. She just showed me the way. Well, I think you should be spending more time with your mom. <sighs> All right, um, go upstairs and freshen up. I'll make lunch for you. <laughs> Why would I have lunch when I can have something way better? Honey, you look exquisite. I can have something as... Beautiful. Oh my god, baby. Come here. Mm. Let me take you upstairs. I'll show you what daddy's made of. Mm. <laughs> Come here, baby. Yeah! Mm. Oh my god, yes! It's time to work the magic. Time to work the magic. Time to work the magic. This is actually the best sex I've had in my entire life. I know, babe. What happened to you? And it's all for you. Hey. <laughs> you were like, you were like a lioness. Mm -hmm. You came all out. Hi. Mm. You're so sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the kids will be hungry by now, so let me go feed them. Ah, feed who? Wait, wait, wait. Feed the kids? Mm -hmm. Honey, I'm not done eating. I'm still starving. Bro. You want to go and give them food? When daddy has not finished oh. eating, let daddy finish eating first so oh, that you can make food for them. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, tell me how do I look? <laughs> Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm all right physically, mm -hmm. mentally, mm -hmm. emotionally, and sexually. <laughs> because my husband can get his hands off me ever since I got back. He's been all over me. <laughs> And the kids, how are they doing? They're very well. Thank you for all you did for them while I was away. 
You don't have to thank me. I didn't know my godchildren. <laughs> thank you. Baby, did you forget anything? Yes. I actually forgot my wife, so I came to get her. You forgot me. I'm here. Baby, I haven't been able to concentrate at work, so I came to get you, so we go to work together. You want me to go to your office with you? Yes. Why not? It's my office, so there's nothing wrong with that. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay. Yes. That's my queen. Uh, yeah. Mom, so this is it, right? What? You didn't travel to see grandma. You traveled for a body fixing surgery. Cherry, you know you're too young for some of the things you talk about. I'm too young to talk to my mommy. Baby, that's not what I'm saying, okay? Hey! Hi, babe. I've been looking all over for you. Um, I came out here to get some fresh air. Okay, then I guess I will join you guys. It's fine. I know what's wrong with her. Why the long face? She needs another phone. You want another phone? Oh, you want another phone? You're this girl? Well, guess what? Hmm? Daddy is going to get you another phone this weekend. How about that? So smile for me. What's that? I said smile, smile. Okay, you don't want to smile. She's and I'm not getting now. any phone. I'm not seeing it. She's smiling. Where's the smile? Where's your teeth? Show me your teeth. Let me see the teeth. You better not make sounds. Don't do that. Mm, I want that massage. No, this is not a massage. This is just to relax your nerves. But I want a massage though. It's not going to happen. Why? Because it's not going to happen. Mm -mm. It's going to happen. It's not. <laughs> Baby, don't do that. Baby, please. What do you mean, please? Huh? We're just chilling right here, okay? The door is opened. Hello, Harry. Hello, Harry. Hello, Harry. Hello. Hello. Um, um, Harry, I have a presentation tomorrow and I was hoping you'd pull me through. Um, as you can see, I'm busy with my wife. I, I don't think that can... How about I come back later? We have a date, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, we have a date, so... Um... Can I send it to your email? N no, my email. Sure, you can send it to my email. All right, thank you very much. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. So, um, where were we? I was talking about. Getting a massage. Baby, we're not, we're not doing this massage thing. Mm, you're there. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. There we go again. Nuts. <laughs> Don't touch me. Like that. <laughs> Don't touch me. I have been through the fire, been through the rain, just for you. And this is what I get. I have walked through the storms and walked in the rain just for you and this is what I get oh, I just hope you know what you're doing Let nobody pressure you you look good the way you are You can do it yourself Oh listen Let nobody pressure you You look good the way you are You can do it yourself Some are 
Thank you. Oh, yes, that's good. What is the problem? You are the problem, Mary. Have you seen yourself since you came back? You are the complete opposite of yourself. You don't care about anything again but the time you spend with Henry. The same man that pushed you to depression. He is my husband. The one who only cares when you look like this, but can't stand you when you are off. When are you going to stop being naive? This man doesn't love you. He's only obsessed with what he sees. Jenny, there is something that always attracts a man to any woman. And you're comfortable with the fact that your husband only cares about the artificial look you bought for yourself. Have you thought to yourself what will happen to this marriage that you have been trying so hard to keep if something happens to this body of yours? Nothing will happen to me. Really? All right. Mary, happy birthday. My love. What is it? I don't know. Um, Are you okay? Pains in my stomach. Is is it your flow? Mm -mm, no. It's not. Mm. Okay. Um. Don't worry. I'll I'll take it very easy on you. Okay. Oh, huh? Nice, sister, baby. You oh, look you look so nice. I've missed you. Come here. Come 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 come. Mm. Sorry sorry. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Just sit down. Mm -hmm.
Mary, why did you do it? Everyone knows that talking is the most dangerous of this body fixing surgery. Well, your internal organs were badly affected during the surgery. The result of the text we conducted shows there is little or nothing that can be done. I can only put you on drugs to alleviate the pains. However, you should leave each henceforth like it is your last. I don't want to leave my children. Nothing will happen to you. You have to tell Henry. You had a surgery? Yes, I did. I thought you were going to like it. You thought I was going to like it? Are you kidding me? You went under the knife without telling me? Do you know you're something else? Oh, now that you have complications, what do you want me to do? The doctor said I have to fly abroad if there is a chance of me to survive this. All right, then you go and meet your mother. Yes, I know, but I don't have money to do that. How much money are we talking about? I spoke to a doctor abroad and he said it's going to cost about $40,000. 40? Do you know what $40,000 is in Naira? I know, but I'm not asking you to give me everything. Just give me what you can afford. Well, all I can spare is 500,000 naira. Henry! What? Did I ask you to go and do a surgery? Wherever you got the money to do this surgery, you go back there and get it and fix your repercussions. For goodness sake, Henry, all I did was because... You did it for your selfishness, not for me. Henry! Your daddy's not back yet. I haven't seen him. Come. Cool. Cherry. You are my beautiful girl. You know, I remember when I first heard you, you were the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. The nurses couldn't take you from me. Your dad, was engulfed with pride. I carried you everywhere. And when we got home, I didn't want to get a nanny. And then Divine came. And I thought that I was so blessed. Not until three years ago, when I started trying to get my body back. All of a sudden, your father, your father started avoiding me. It graduated into body shaming and insults. But the one that broke me was when he brought that lady here and told me how perfect her body is. 
<laughs> and how imperfect mine was. I tried asking you, but you wouldn't say anything. How am I supposed to tell you? How am I supposed to tell you that? That our father was driving me into depression. And now I regret everything. Especially the surgery. Well, you should be happy you have your husband back. At the detriment of my health. And to the fact that I'm not going to live long to be with my kids. What do you mean? The surgery. It was complicated. And some organs were damaged. What? And now I... I only have a few, few months to leave. Oh, it can't help me. Jerry! And how's that your business? You are the greatest mistake I ever made in my life. What did you just say? You heard me, Henry. You know, at first, I thought you were the best thing that ever happened to me. But right now, I just realized that you are the worst. And I'm sure God regrets molding you because he would have used that clay to mold bricks instead. Mary! Henry! You killed me. You killed our unborn son. You made me have an abortion because I was scared of giving birth to girls. And as a result of the pain, I couldn't do anything. Yet you dragged me into the kitchen and made me cook. You made me wash our children's clothes just because you don't want to fix the machine. Your constant body shaming drove me into depression. And the surgery that I did that is threatening my life. But you know what? I don't regret it. Because I did it for our family. And even if I died in it, at least, I didn't end up like my mother. Jerry, my daughter. You're going to go into a mother now. Divine, your sister. She's going to come to you for everything. The same way she comes to me. Please don't turn your back on her. Because you'll push her away. Please take care of her. And please, my child. Don't be like me. 
don't let any man push you to do anything that is going to cause you harm. Be respectful. Be faithful. But don't let any man treat you the same way your father treated me. <laughs> Auntie Jenny, she's going to take care of you and your sister. You can go to her for everything. <laughs> I left the documents in your bag. It's some money for you and your sister. You cannot sex it when you're 20. Please promise me. Promise me you'll take care of her. Please. Promise me to take care of your sister. We love you. Why are you calling me like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I safe? Mm -hmm. How are you? Mm -hmm. Better than you. Mm -hmm. That day you came back to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I was drunk and mm -hmm. you were throwing up everywhere. <laughs> You were so embarrassed. I remember your face when I woke up the next morning. <laughs> People were laughing at me. <laughs> and then that guy came. <laughs> What's his name again? Uh, Mike. You remember? <laughs> He was a nice guy. I wish I encouraged you to give him a chance. Instead, I encouraged you to date this devil. I feel terrible. It was your fault. I should have listened to you. I wanted to save your marriage. And now I've lost my life. And the joy of motherhood. Nothing will happen to you. I promise you. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay, Jenny. Divine. Please take care of them for me. Divine can be 
She could be helpful. Please. I know you're the best person that can take care of them. I love you, Jimmy. If I were you, I'll go apologize to her. No. Oh my god, 
crazy shows. Shuki. It's cool, you too. Yeah. 